will come to biology, the scientific study of life, the origin of species, um, that uh, mystery of mysteries. Darwin came to the Galapagos Islands eager to explore land forms nearly emerged from the sea. He noted that these volcanic islands, despite their geologic youth, were filled with plants and animals known now here in sea in the world. And later uh, realized that these species, like the islands, were new. Not you. He wrote in his um, diary, both in space and time, we see we seem to be brought somewhat near to that great fact, that um, that mystery of mysteries, that the first appearance of new beings on this earth. The origin of a new species or speciation is at the focal point of evolutionary theory because the appearance of a new species is the source of biological diversity. It is not enough to explain how adaptations evolve in a population. Evolutionary theory must also explain how a new species originate and develop through the subdivision and subsequent divergence of gene pools. The fossil record reveals the cumulative effects of uh, speciation uh, over vast tracts of time. The term uh, macroevolution refers to such evolutionary change above the species level. For example, the appearance of favors during the evolution of birds from one group of dinosaurs and other such evolutionary uh, novelettes that can be used to define higher text. Uh, we can distinguish two basic patterns of evolution, uh, evolutionary change, uh, anagenesis and uh, caldogenesis. Notice this figure. Anagenesis uh, from the Greek ananu and genus res, also called uh, philetic evolution, is the accumulation of changes that gradually transform a given species into a species with different characteristics. Uh, caldogenesis from the Greek caldos branch, also called branching evolution, is the splitting of gene pool into two or more separate pools, which each give rise to one or more new species only. Caldogenesis can promote biological diversity by increasing the number of species. Notice this figure the two pattern evolutionary change. Uh, anagenesis is uh, the accumulation of heritable changes altering the characteristics of a species. Not to be also a uh, caldogenesis is branching evolution um, in species. Um, note that also uh, new species arises from a population that buds from a parent species. Note that the parent species may change as well. Caldogenesis is the basis for biological diversity. Let's talk about the biological species, a concept emphasizes a reproductive isolation. Species is a Latin word meaning kinds or appearance. We distinguish between various kinds or plants or, uh, of plants or animals, between dogs and cats, for instance, from differences in their appearance. But our organisms are truly divided into the discrete units we call species or is this classification um, um, arbitrary, arbitrary attempt to impose order on the natural world? To answer this question, biologists have compared not only the uh, morpho, uh, morphology body form of different, um, different groups of organisms, but also less uh, obvious differences in ph physiology, biochemistry, and DNA sequences, the results generally confirm that morphologically uh, distinct species are indeed discrete groups with many differences in addition to morphological uh, ones. Uh, the biological species concept, uh, the primary definition of species used most frequently in this textbook, was proposed in um, 1942 by biologist Ernest Mayer. This biological species concept defines uh, a species as a population. Um, uh, or groups of populations whose members have uh, the potential to uh, interbreed in nature and produce 
و برودیوس ویابل و با ویابل فرتایل اف سپرینگ بات آر اینیبل تو برودیوس ویابل فرتایل اف سپرینگ ویز ممبرز اف ایدر پاپیلیشنز نوتیس دیس فیگور این ایدر ورز دا ممبرز اف Uh, a biological species are united by being reproductively compatible, at least potentially. All humans, for example, uh, belong to the same biological species. A businesswoman in um, a businesswoman in uh, Manhattan may be unlikely to meet a a, a diary uh, farmer in Mongolia, but. If, if, the, if the two should happen to get together, they could have uh, viable uh, babies that develop into uh, fertile adults. In contrast, humans and champions remain distinct biological species even where the, they share uh, territory because many factors keep them from uh, interbreeding and producing fertile offspring. Uh, reproductive isolation because biological species are distinguished based on reproductive um, incompatibility the concept hinges on reproductive isolation the existence of biological factors barriers that impede members of two species from producing va um, viable uh, fertile hybrids although a single paria Uh, may not block all genetic exchange between species. A combination of several barriers can effectively isolate the species or a species gene pool. Um, uh, clearly, a fly cannot uh, ma uh, cannot uh, mate with a frog or a fern, but the reproductive barriers between more closely related species. Are are not so ab uh, obvious. Um, these barriers can be c classified according to whether they contribute to reproductive isolation before or after fertilization. Prezygotic barriers before the zygote embed mating between species or hinder the fertilization of ova. If members of different species attempt to mate, if a sperm cell from one species does overcome uh, brizygotic uh, barriers and fertilizes an ovium uh, from another species, both, uh, both zygotic barriers. After the zygote, which means often prevent uh, the hybrid zygote from developing into a viable fertile adult. Uh, on the next page, it describes various uh, prezygotic and postzygotic barriers. Notice that uh, reproductive barriers, 